for drugs, but food. Supposedly dangerous food being sold out of sidewalk stands all over Los Angeles. Just how unsafe is this stuff? I don't think you would give any kind of a grade to this kind of an operation. <laughs> There's no uh, evidence of any temperature control monitoring, that is refrigeration or thermometers. Don't see any kind of hand washing provision, soap or paper towels. Within minutes, inspectors dismantle the stand, throw away all the questionable food, and cart off most of the equipment. It's just the beginning of a long night for the food vehicle inspection team. We cover the full range of uh, food activities on wheels, from the mobile food preparation units, the hot trucks, full service, full food preparation hot trucks, all the way down to the simple ice cream carts, and all the things in between. This is actually just one of many things that this unit does out in the streets. Morning. From the health department. Every morning, health inspectors check all the licensed, legally operating mobile food units, as they're called, from large hot lunch trucks to small fruit vending carts, a big job for merely 25 inspectors. For vehicles throughout the entire county, you'd be looking at a legitimate number approximating five to 6,000. And that's just of registered vehicles. No one knows how many unlicensed vendors are out there, but they're not hard to find, especially with our Fox undercover cameras. Anything on yeah. Most of the food looks and smells really good. But close up, in some cases, we found food operators not wearing gloves, and in one case, we found someone handling food going to the bathroom behind a stand and continuing handling food without washing their hands. Health inspectors raid these operations regularly. This is not a restaurant. This is not, this is not a restaurant. Licensing is more of a fiscal matter. We're more concerned with the public health implications and the food preparation that's going here. From the hot food not being hot enough? We have some beans that are prepped here. This should be at 41 degrees or low, or 140 degrees and above. And as you can see, this is at 119 degrees, just a little bit above body temperature, and it's a perfect medium for bacterial growth. The angry vendor insists his food is safe. In other cases, health inspectors find food that's not cold enough. We have uh, the puddings. With the dairy products, they should be refrigerated. And as you can see, it's out here in the streets. It's pretty warm out here tonight in the upper 60s. Temperature should be 41 degrees Fahrenheit or less. And as you can see quite easily, that's 50 degrees. And it will probably rise over the course of the evening. Corn is being sold out of a garbage can. And they slather it with the mayonnaise. You know, that of course has no temperature control or anything like that. And sprinkle the cheese. Again, no refrigeration. The danger is serious. Food poisonings, um, it could go from the mild degree of just a queasy stomach and uh, to uh, profuse vomiting, diarrhea. Still, vendors and customers get pretty angry at the inspectors. No, that's not right. How about the temperatures things and the thing about the health issue and so forth, and that people could get sick? Well, yeah, they could, but I mean, as long as they're not complaining, nobody should get hurt and nothing will, this will happen, you know? Both vendors and health officials do agree that not every carne asada taco or al pastor burrito out there is dangerous. There are many legal, clean operations working within L.A. County. The trick for the health department is finding the ones that are not. How do they do that and what can you do to protect yourself from unsafe food in the next part of When You Eat on the Street? In Los Angeles, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox 11 News. And we'll have part two of Christina's report on Fox 11 News at 10 Monday night, right after Ali McBeal. Well, a major medical break.